Welcome back, Random Battles, episode 90. That's a lot. So we've got Scrafty versus Breloom. Um, I think the immediate thought here for me is to do a Colossal, try to get a burn on this thing. Uh, we also, Ours is poison, actually. It's really good. So we can just maybe... If they put Colossal to sleep, we can just go to Arceus Poison. Okay, Masquerine comes out instead. Uh, if this has Hydro Pump, it's unlucky to kill me. I'm just going to go for Stone Edge. I'm going to Tempt Fate a bit here. Okay, they go up to Oink Cologne. And I can get up my Rock here. If they want High Horsepower, it's not too bad for me. Honestly, considering Scrafty here, too. Let's just flamethrower for now. Just okay, that will kill. No proc though. We can bulk up though. Okay, they immediately go out. Into Masquerine. I'm gonna knock on this thing. Okay, they get the web down, which is pretty annoying. Actually hits everything. Let's go for another knock here. Okay, so Masquerine is basically dead. Let's go into Alcremie to take advantage of that. Because I can set up Alcremie in front of Masquerine. So we'll go for the Calm Mind here. Okay, Stun Spore is annoying. Okay, the U turn out. So do they have Hazard Removal or is Masquerine just dead? Okay, one cologne shows up. It's just a luring voice up. Body slam. Yeah, we just trade. Oh, you're not dead, you bastard. They're gonna body slam again. Yep. Now let's just T-bolt here. They might go masquerade. They'll probably go masquerade, honestly. And unfortunately, Unclone will still come back after Stealth Rock damage. Oh, they're actually going to Sylveon. Okay. You can go Arceus on this. And just, um... So I think this is a, this is a point where they sack. Oh, they have a Regieleki? Interesting. I'll just Earthquake. Yeah, you can spin, but I will take your Reggie Lecky with me. And uh, we can just Liquidation the Masquerade here. Can they go to Drift Bloom instead? I'm actually wondering if Alchemy can like still come back. But the problem is it doesn't do anything. Let's go into, straight into it. Well, actually, I might be able to, could probably just recover right here. Or I'll get full parrot. So the question is, how do we break all of this shit? Because the problem is, Dragpult's going to come in. It's going to be slower. And it doesn't even kill this thing. But I think if Dragpult can get some of the right kills... Or like the right damage here still does pretty well. Oh, I do not like that though. I don't know if I can actually deal with this thing. I don't think I have the tools to deal with Drift Blim. It's too strong. And my team just gets blasted by it. Yeah, this is looking like a a GG, if I've ever seen one. I 
this. I just can't break this thing. <laughs> it just strength saps and heals forever and super fast. Yeah, not cool. Yeah, I mean, this is this game. I don't need to see all this. So that not a great start there. Just getting kind of kind of clowned on by the sticky web situation. That yeah, that sticky web is that's rough. Cause it really did matter a lot. And I didn't have a good way of dealing with Driplin. Not with the weakened Scrafty at least. But even then it still strength stabs me just so much. Alright, let's let's make a recovery here. Metagross into Ogre Pond. I am a fan of this. Did you guys switch out? Right, let's just go for Heavy Slam. What? You're crazy for that. What do you even do to me? Knock? This thing must have knockoff, right? Um. Surely. I don't think this thing learns knockoff. So I'll, I'll just speed up, I guess. That's cool. You're gonna give me your Ogre Pond? Okay, now Krasma comes out. I'm just gonna Earthquake it. I'm not super scared of it. Um, can... Surf is actually unlikely to kill. Which sucks. But I think Deoxys deals with this pretty well. And if it morning suns, which I'm not sure if it gets that on this side, I don't think it does. Oh, it speeds up. I see. Okay, sun still's gonna hurt, but I take it. And unfortunately, no rocks. This guy's gonna go for Cutchel. I was likely to live that. Damn. Well, I can go Cyclozer now. Just rapid spin to kill. So go into comfy. Ooh, I don't like seeing that. Let's go Zangoose and get our toxic. So now we probably just get a kill. Um, oh, they go Terra Steel. They're that guy. And they're gonna crit me too. It's nasty work, comfy. And they actually save it for later. Well, I can facade again. Okay, we kill Ogre Pond. Comfy's back. Uh, I'm gonna come in and yawn this. And I'm gonna flip out. Yep, so now we can get Zangus back in for another big hit. One last hit. Um, if they stay in, they'll die. Comfy will take a lot of damage if it comes in. Vileplume would die. This is the last ride for Zangu, so. Okay, Valpum is dead. Let's go Empoleon again. I'm gonna yawn it again, I mean. Why would I not? Huh, this monk is not cool. He's not my friend. But I can just... Yeah, that's fine. Cause I'm gonna go Terra Steel here. Dragon Dance up. And they're not even close to threatening me, it's comfy. Yeah, so Terra Steel, Rigi Drago will take it home. Okay, one and one. Made a recovery. I guess whatever they had left was not going to be able to deal with Reggie Drago. Alright, can we make it to 2400 this episode? That is the question. Can we become even closer to the cusp of ultimate victory? That's always the goal, right? Inching closer and closer to number one. And honestly, I've been playing pretty well overall. Oh, there's my team builder. Did not mean to open that. 
So you can see number one is 2567. So still quite a ways away. Um, so you've got someone who's about our rank. It's always a welcome sight. Let's see, Altaria, Zoomerals, this is a kind of a nasty looking team. That's just Brave Bird. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to Brave Bird here again. And they actually just don't even. Huh. Okay, yeah, now we can haze that. So I think I'll Brave Bird again. Well, they're going to double edge, aren't they? It's kind of painful either way. But now I can roost here. Okay, Intellion comes out. This thing wants the Ice Beam for sure. Well, not guaranteed. We can go Scream Tail. Let's just see what it wants. Probably U-Turn. Yeah. Greedent is beyond Cheek Pouch, so it's not too much of a threat. Chandler, don't know what it's about. Excadrill, mm -mm. I think there's a good chance this thing is just gonna, like, it could store sand, but it also Iron Head is pretty free. That's why I'm going to Altari here. Let's get some damage off. Okay, nice damage on Inteleon. So we get the switch initiative here. Raichu looks pretty strong if we get that set up. For now, I can just go Ar Juculus and Dark Pulse here. So we can take out Greedent. Um, nothing they have right now wants to deal with it except... Well, that... Okay, never mind. Let's go Zoom Roll here. And how much do I mind? How much do I mind that situation? Not too much. I do have Terra Fire for Magirna later. Okay, so big damage off there. Okay, Hoopa's come for smoke. Can I just go Jugulus on it? Ish. It's an ish situation. Because, what am I, how am I going to deal with this in general, though? It's, thing, it's kind of hard to deal with for my team. Even Aqua Jet's not super useful. We'll just take it. Okay, so I'm thinking that's going to be Choice Band. Let's go Eternatus here. And just uh, Dynamax Cannon to whatever. And on Chandelure, I'll go Jugulus. Okay, they tricked me. The scarf, cool. <laughs> and is Earth Power free? Yeah, it is. Ooh, Chandler lives. That wasn't part of my plan, buddy. Okay, so they give me Chandelure. See, Intellion's not in super scary range. We can go with Screamtail for now. And I take a Thunder Wave on anything here. Okay, we dodge. We're lucky. And I can actually just stall this thing out of Hydro Pump entirely. And keep my wishes up. Okay, there's Magirna. I think I just Thunder Wave this. Okay, we're getting lucky still. Uh, Eternity this time. Okay, Hoopa comes out. Hoopa is really the thing to deal with here. Now that Intalion's pre pretty much out of commission. Uh, it's going to be my best chance to get Jogulus back in at all. See if they go for something crazy. Okay, just hyperspace. Yeah, we just don't have a great way to deal with it immediately. 
Actually, how hard can... I can kill with... Wait, Screamtail kills this thing. That's crazy. Yeah, they go Magirna, which makes sense. We go back e Eternatus here. Uh, I'm going to throw out one Sludge Bomb here just to hit it. Now, Screamtail can switch in. But just once. Oh, they called me out. That was a hard call out, dude. Uh, is this thing just gonna wipe me? I think so. Well, I don't know. Raichu probably kills it with Thunderbolt at least. Actually, we still have a chance. These guys are paralyzed. So let's go for a nasty plot. Tear grass, just because why not? Oh no, I think this thing is a little, a little too healthy. Thunderbolt doesn't kill. I have to get a full pair here. We got it. <laughs> it's as simple as being lucky, folks. So we channel some pure luck there in the end. The paralysis is paying off. Ooh, that was way too close, dude. That Hoopa was terrifying to deal with. But we did deal with it. Two and one. So I mean, that thing hit hit so hard. And it's really bulky on the special side. Like, Hoopa's Unbound has pretty great special bulk. If I recall, its HP is 80, which is decent. Its physical defense is trash. It's like 60. But then its special defense is like... 130, 100 something. It's pretty high. So, uh, a tough guy to deal with, but we get out of the end with a couple of nasty plots and uh, well timed paralysis. And that's why you always play your outs. Because I could have Thunderbolted there, kind of resigning, or I pray for a crit. But the crit chance is like, what, 1 in 24? Whereas the paralysis chance is 1 in 4? I mean, the odds are obvious when you think about it. But, um, I don't know, it's pretty easy to get in a mindset of like, oh, I lose. But if you haven't outplayed it. Alright, enough. I'll get on my soapbox here, go back to what I'm here for you, probably what you want. So we got low kicks into Corviknight. Obviously a good lead. Unfortunately, Neil U turned for me. They're probably just. They're gonna U turn themselves, I'd expect. Oh, no U turn. Straight into Vaporeon. That's actually not a problem. In fact, Topsigiri looks quite nice here. Gimme. And I can just launch a Draco immediately now. No need to Nasty Plot. That's kind of overkill. Especially since there's a good chance they could just outspeed me. Okay, Glalie. Maybe dies? It lived. <laughs> On a one. Okay. I think Corviknight's fine going into this, though. Okay, they go for the freeze dry, it's whatever. I'm gonna roost up first. And I'll just kill you. Okay, so Glalie's down. Vaporeon. This is a pretty uncomfy situation with Tatsugiri. But speaking of uncomfy, this Armor Rouge. There's no telling what exactly it's going to do. Mm -mm. I actually really don't know. It's one thing worth saying is that Pulse Ice is not good as long as Low Kicks is around. But if this thing is armor can, it's gonna it's gonna murder something here. Do we give up Corviknight? Um, was that specs? Was that specs damage? Tell me it was. It was? Okay. <laughs> we get out for for a moment. And we get some decent damage on that guy. 
Um, Iron Hand, I think we definitely go Vile Plume on this. And now will Ice Punch kill me? Unlikely to. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb here, just get some damage. Because now I can Strength up. And I'm also going to Leap Seed here. Okay, so now that they're likely to kill... Hmm. I mean, Vaporeon's not doing a whole lot here. Let's just Sludge Bomb again. And now we go Metacham here. Now I'm going to send Headbutt. I know they could go Low Kicks, but I need to get that thing out. That Iron Hands was looking way too scary. At plus one million, can't let that happen. Now I'm going to go Okie Dogie here. I'm going to bulk up first. Oh, they went for the, the Ice Punch, that's weird. And they go for another Ice Punch. What are they doing here? Okay, well, they get this guy in. But I can just knock it instead. Okie dokie, suddenly looking quite nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna tear it dark. Let's pull the trigger real fast. I don't even know what hit him. And, uh, that's, that's a game. And, wow, we got 9 elo for that. I didn't even realize. Lovely. Okay, well, you know, a win is a win. 3-1. Elo is Elo. Anything to get up the ladder. So let's go for one more here, and then I'm gonna call it. I mean, we have made a little climb here, up to number 36, so close to the front page. And this will be a worthy battle. Swallot into Ogre Pond. Look upon Rock. Um, Gunk Shot does a lot to me. Uh, let's just go Fortress here. Ice Beam. Interesting. Okay, we'll get it done. Some hazards here. Uh, I'm just gonna hope. I think if it's Ice Beam, there's a good chance it's like AV. Okay, meanwhile, Go Lurk shows up. I'll just get a spike here. Okay, so they're not... Not insta-kill set. Uh, do I just go for a billion spikes? I think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna go full hazards here. <laughs> Engaging in sicko mode. And, yeah, I can't... I can't switch in on that poltergeist. Oh, but they will go to Blaziken, though. That was an interesting decision. I can go Swan on this guy. They get the knock, but that's the strongest thing it has on me. Um, but they can't really switch out at this point. But this is heavy. I don't think it has Swords Dance. I can I'm pretty sure I'm good to Roost. Yeah, I think I can bully this. As they just switch out to Latios, which I can brave for this thing. Actually, does not take Brave Root well at all. So, Swana going crazy? Takes out Latios? If they don't have hazard removal, Blaziken is dead too. Now, I do have to be a little careful with Belly Bolt here, because that could be trouble. I just need to find a good opportunity to switch in on it. Now if I Hydro Pump and it... I think I just Hydro Pump here. Yeah, we just hit it. Continually. Okay, so yeah, now they go for that. Um, we need to weaken it a bit more. I think Ogre Pond's probably the guy for the job. 
Because if they try to switch out and do some funny stuff, um, or if, like they try to stall me out, it's anything else, I can just... Yeah, for I can encore it here, honestly. Start healing up. I will continue that cycle for a bit. So I may as well. Because now we can Ivy Cudgel. And I'll go for a power whip here. I'm just now noticing they finally added the little multiplier for the uh, mask. If you don't know, the mask that these guys wear does multiply. There's at least they're stabs by two. Also, I just noticed I am inaccurate for Muddy Water. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for Ivy Cudgel. Let's just, we just need damage on Swallow. Okay, we hit both. Blaziken is dead. Golurk can't come in because I guaranteed to hit it. Ursa Luna, though. I mean, we just... Power Whip. And we miss. That's fine. Um, Lucario's still faster than this thing, right? Yes. We're good. I think we're good here. I don't think Golurk can take Meteor Mash after the hazards. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, because uh, Blaziken is just dead. Because they have no Tims. And uh, I don't know what they're waiting for. There we go. So we take a win. That is a new high. Wow, they are really high. 24 84, I just want to see real quick. Um, so they were number six just now, before I made them not number six. And 25 ELO is a lot at this level. So we go up to 24, 18, which puts me in the top 30. Look at that, folks. If you look up random battles right now, well, you know, hopefully right now, this will be a couple days till I post this one. But, for at least a fleeting moment, I'm in the top 26. Hopefully not fleeting, though. Hopefully we can keep it going. But, that's enough for me today. If you're still with me, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.